Uh, as you know, Alliance Française is a French language and cultural center. This is part of a national network with 10 Alliance Française in Nigeria. And uh, there are hundreds of Alliance Française in the world. And uh, this is the best place to learn French, particularly so, and for all kinds of people, like children to adults. And we have uh, all kinds of uh, lectures for French. And we are very uh, well trained teachers. Uh, morning to evening, you can register to Alliance Française. We also organize cultural activities, such as a showcase, for example, which is concert, monthly event. We also have exhibitions and uh, to promote local artists. This is very important for us. And uh, we, also, um, we also propose international certifications for French called DELF and also a uh, test uh, to, to migrate to Canada called TEF. I think you have all kinds of reasons. You see, the diversity of uh, students is very important. We always ask them the reason. We, we have many students who would like also to travel abroad. Uh, as you know, uh, close to Nigeria, there are many francophone countries, but they would also like to travel uh, to France, to Canada, and, uh, and other countries like this. We also have business people. Uh, they especially come for afternoon classes and they really need French for, for their work. You know, some can work in banks, in customs, in, uh, in army, and we have all kinds of uh, professionals who want to learn French. Yes, we collaborate with university, with colleges of education, but this is more the part of the CFTD, Center for French Teaching and Documentation. Because as you know, uh, uh, this is here, it's not only Alliance Française, but it's also a Center for French Teaching and Documentation that, that is different, actually. Uh, we have to know also that Alliance Française is run by the director, who is the manager, but there is also a board. So, and the board uh, of Alliance Française Ibadan is uh, constituted of, uh, of 12 people who are uh, mostly Nigerian and uh, like this they can also help the Alliance Française to develop by giving advice to the director. Okay. CFTD is different but, uh, but I think we could make uh, another uh, video for CFTD because we have a lot to say about CFTD. Um, I, I am the director of Alliance Française, which is uh, one side, but I'm also director of CFTD. But CFTD is linked with the French Embassy to projects that are proposed by the French Embassy uh, for the development of French, especially the training of French teachers. Uh, we organize a lot of pedagogical workshops, as, uh, as I did for uh, teachers from uh, colleges of education. We also built uh, a partnership with the University of Ibadan, Department of uh, European Languages, French section, to build um, a resource center for didactics of French. So this center will be very important for, for research, uh, for didactics, which means uh, how to, to teach uh, French the best way. Yes, yes, yes. We, we have developed uh, a network uh, of partners uh, that are mostly secondary schools. Uh, I know you had some documentaries maybe in some of these schools, but um, these schools uh, propose French in secondary, like public schools, but also in primary for some private schools. And uh, the partnership is very important. Uh, because uh, most of these schools choose Alliance Française for DELF Prime and DELF Junior, which are French uh, certifications proposed by the French Ministry of Education. You know, uh, as I said at the beginning of the interview, Alliance Française is a French language and cultural center. You know, you cannot dissociate the two. And uh, the promotion of local artists is part of all what Alliance Française do in the world, which is very important also to attract people to Alliance Française, 
we don't force them to, to, to learn French, of course. You know, you don't have to learn French to appreciate uh, cultural activities we propose. But I think it's also a lively place to promote local artists and sometimes to propose also, to propose also uh, francophonie events. Uh, francophonie events such as the Francophonie Week we do in March is very important. Fête de la Musique, which is, um, which, uh, which is the one on 21st of June. Anyway, we have many Francophonie uh, cultural events that are also linked directly uh, with the French language. I think about the competitions with the schools for uh, theater and songs in French. Uh, each year in March, when there is no COVID, uh, the, the last time it was difficult, uh, we, we, we welcome about uh, uh, 40 to 50 schools Second here, schools. Yeah, secondary, primary, and also higher, uh, uh, higher students who, who participate to, the, to the, this competition of theater and songs in French. And uh, it's, a, it's a very nice show, you know, they're on stage and... Uh, Speaking French, um, drama. Yes, yes. Uh, I hope you, you will come maybe next year, uh, okay. in, in 2002, in March. It would be nice maybe to have a documentary about this. Okay. But uh, no, no, it's really a nice, uh, nice week because we have many events during that, uh, that week. Uh, we organize uh, school competitions, but we also have uh, uh, football competitions. Wow. Like we do it between Nigerian and Francophones because you know there are many Francophones here uh, in Ibadan. Uh, we also have other events, but uh, each year is a, is a new year for Francophonie. Yes. Uh, of course, I, I hope you are going to ask my colleague because I'm not, it's difficult to judge oneself or to say good things about oneself. But I believe I achieved a lot in this center. Uh, especially into the infrastructure. When I arrived in Alliance Française, the, uh, the place was not as welcoming as it is today, and uh, I believe so. We also developed a lot of new classes. Uh, we developed also the TEF Canada, which is um, very important. We developed partnerships. Uh, we developed the lessons. We have more teachers today, more students, more teachers, more levels. So. So, of course, I hope it will continue. We also developed um, a, a cafeteria. Now we have a, a restaurant. Uh, now we have also a, a cultural stage that didn't exist before, permanent one. So, and we wish also to develop the library with more and more books and, uh, and also to open the library on uh, digital activities because, you know, um, we are promoting Culture Tech, which is a digital library for French. The challenges, you know, you always have challenges for all uh, kind of contract. The challenges are to have a solid team. You know, the team of Alliance Française uh, uh, has been, a, some of them have been around for many years. So when you come as a new director, you have to be accepted. So it's not always easy. It depends on the temper of the people. But I think uh, you, you have to interview them. They will tell you if they accepted me or not. But, uh, but I believe uh, I was very efficient in my management and, uh, and uh, as a director I'm a manager and, uh, and Alliance Française has to be run like, uh, like enterprise, you know, it has to be effective uh, even, if, even if it's a non-profit organization, meaning that all the benefits are spent inside Alliance Française to develop it. And for me it was very important to develop this place and I hope uh, the new director will continue uh, in this way. I would like to invite uh, all Nigerians to learn French because French is very, um, uh, very useful. Like me, I, I try to speak English, you see, uh, we have the interview in English. And uh, I think it's very important to be at least bilingual today, especially in Africa. Because in Africa, because of history, you have uh, English-speaking countries, French-speaking countries. Some can be also Portuguese, but and, uh, anyway, I think French and English, are, and English are the major language, especially in Africa and also in the world. So I really invite people to come and learn French here at Alliance Française, uh, because here in Ibadan, we are the best center to learn French.